This is a little video about Bootstrap Studio and how to search on anybody's website, but in this case mine, and about updating Bootstrap Studio. And like, for, for example, I get comments about, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it's from three or four years ago when I did a video and, pe and people think I haven't updated them. I have usually updated stuff that needs updating. Um, but with Bootstrap Studio, it is one of these programs where they're always doing something. And I'll just show you something, this Wayback Machine. This is um, for, your web for websites that go into history. So what it is, it's a really good little tool. So what, if you want to know what a website looked like 10, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, um, you can go on this Wayback Machine and I'll put the uh, the address in the description. And this time it's Bootstrap Studio I.O. And on October the 14th was the first impression. That's 2015, October the 14th, yeah. And I bought this as soon as I saw it, actually, on the 19th. And it was in some sort of web design, uh, creative blog, I think it was. So the first website I ever, I'm um, sorry, the first video I did on this was an overview of Bootstrap Studio, and this is at 32,000 views. This is the very first one. It was October the 22nd, 2015. As you can see on here, that there is the first incarnation of the program. And as you'll see, that is a very, very different program to what this is now. This is Bootstrap 5.3 I think using bootstrap 4.5 so bootstrap studio 5.3 uh, edition but that is very very different to the one that they were using then I, I think that was bootstrap 3.4 and I don't know what incarnation the, the actual bootstrap studio version was but what I'm saying is that when you when you like make a comment what I was seeing actually when I was doing the video is sometimes not what you have as the program matures and if you just bear that in mind uh, you know sometimes because like I do update them as, as best I can I sometimes just don't have the time um, and here is another tool which I've actually said about before when you want to know if somebody's updated something don't go to YouTube search this here is where you would normally go, go into somebody's channel and there's a search engine here. So if you just like put in bootstrap and you'll see probably tons of videos. There you go, there's loads of, loads of videos here on bootstrap. <laughs> There's a starting a website in Bootstrap Studio the correct way. This has just come up. I, I didn't realize this was gonna come up. I actually, this, this is like sort of the most embarrassing video I've ever made. Um, and that, the thing was, is that I, I really believed in this video at the time. And I usually do a lot of research in my videos, but this one was a, a dead duck, unfortunately. And I realized this because I had a, a client straight after when I'd, I'd done this and I did it exact same way. And this one is going to be updated because I did make a bit of a fool of myself. Um, I had a client straight after this particular video and I did the uh, I did it the way I said on the video because I thought it was a correct way and it absolutely it just went uh, belly up on that one. So yeah, I was I was very wrong. That's that's the the one video I really regret making and uh, of course I've always said I'm not infallible so anyway uh, I will get around to doing that one so uh, redoing it should I say so anyway just a few little pointers there Wayback Machine's a great tool uh, yeah for if you want to know what, what things look like before um, I mean websites the way they were in the 90s I think it goes back to there yeah I think it's uh what year 96 it goes back to so yeah so just uh, try that out you might find a bit of fun in that so once again thanks for watching